What is up everyone, the last few videos are all about which weapon will be the next best thing after the ground nerf. Even though we do not know what the nerf will be and the severity of it, we will know that the weapon choices will probably switch up a bit. So today we're looking at the M4A1 build that could replace the Gra for the best primary in Warzone. First, we're going to look at all the attachments and the complete setup, and after that, I had an insane Warzone Zolo match with a very, very entertaining ending while I was using this exact M4 class setup. So if you are interested to see how it plays out, watch till the end. And as always, if you enjoy these videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And now on to the M4A1 class setup. The first attachment we are using is the monolithic suppressor to get some sound suppression and more damage range at the cost of some ADS speed. Next, I'm using the stock M16 Grenadier to get the max damage range on the M4. Also, the increase in bullet velocity will help in longer range fights and the extra recoil control is a nice benefit as well. Up next, I'm using the best scope in the game, the VLK 3x Optic. It is a clean and relatively fast scope with a 3x zoom for the longer range fights. Next up, I'm using the Commando Foregrip to get some extra recoil control and aiming stability. The range of foregrip is also a good choice, so try both of them out and just choose what you think is best. And finally, I'm using the 50 round max on my M4. I'm not using the 60 rounds option, even though a lot of people will disagree with me. I want to get a little increase of ADS speed instead of the 10 extra bullets, but the build would work fine with the 60 round option as well. So use what you prefer. This M4 has great range and stability, combined with an easy to control spray. You will have quite some success in long to medium range fights. Close range I will use an MP5 or an MP7 and not the M4. This M4 is built for medium and long range and is not for CQB fights. Try this build out for yourself and let me know in the comments if you think this M4 could be the next best thing. And now, let's get into the Warzone game. Enjoy. This is my little spot. Left side, the door. I usually get the door. From this angle, I'll probably, probably go for the roof. All right, lads, let's get it done. Come up, come up, come up. Thank you. Let's just go for it, man. I don't want to do this for too long, you know? Why is he hitting me so so good? Be advised, there's an enemy team hunting you. Wait. That's not the guy, right? Alright, I'm gonna hunt it. Come on, go to the left then, go to the left. Okay, M4. Okay, M4. I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Okay, actual send recon. UAV entering the AO. Oh my goodie. How the hell did I fuck this up? Oh well. Sort them out or capture the 
objective. Right that way. There was a UAV, that's probably the only one. That's not gonna happen, buddy. Wait, what? Did he... Did he insta-leave? I think so. Let's just clear. Is, is it just me or does this, this M4 beam? I'm going to the other side. Need a little bit more info, boys. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Get beam, buddy. Get beamed, buddy. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Enemy UAV overhead. The bounty target is down. Well done. Oh, well. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Gusper is on. I'm doing something real dumb. Wait, where? Six Gas more. New safe zone located. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Less than five targets remain. Ah, this is dumb. Four more dudes. No. Oh my god.
No. No, 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 no. <laughs>